We are standing here next to Sitico Creek at one of my favorite times of year. It is the spawning season for a lot of our fish. Here at Sitico Creek today, there is an incredible fish that most people have never heard of. These are smallmouth buffalo, and these are in fact a freshwater fish. These suckers are the salmon of the southeast. So throughout most of the year, smallmouth buffalo are going to be found in bigger rivers, they can be found in reservoirs, but in the spring, they all make what's called a spawning run. And so this is the buffalo run. This is when all of these buffalo swim into smaller creeks, like Sitico Creek here, and males and females will come together in order to have a lot of eggs. You will see a lot of females with males surrounding them and they are spawning. All right, so an angler just brought me a smallmouth buffalo so we can actually see it here. You can see this is a male. He is covered in what are called breeding tubercles. And these are tiny keratinized projections all along his scales and along his fins as well. And the males use these in order to kind of grip and hold the females in place during spawning. So you'll see a female with males on either side of her. Thank you. What's amazing to me about this is just how many eggs there are in the bottom of the creek. A study that just came out a month ago estimated that there were around 67,000 smallmouth buffalo that make this run just into Sitico Creek here each year. So 67,000 buffalo. We also have a study from the 1960s that estimated there were anywhere from 300,000 to 800,000 eggs per female. So I don't even know how many gazillions that is. There are a lot of eggs out here in the creek right now. The vegetation, the rocks on the bottoms, all of that is lined with eggs. Having a very good spawning run like this is what makes sure we have a buffalo spawning run well into the future. But the other thing that's happening is that these fish are actually bringing nutrients into our forests. Imagine all the things that they have eaten out in the bigger river and then they poop out up here. They bring all those nutrients into these smaller creeks and the communities around them. Unlike the salmon, it's not a single run. These buffalo are able to spawn multiple times throughout their lifetime and keep bringing those nutrients back into these smaller creeks to nourish the forest that surrounds them. We have heard so many stories about the beautiful migrations of the salmon in the Pacific Northwest. We know those incredible fish, but no one talks about what's happening in the Southeast. And we have these epic migrations that happen here too. What I find so amazing is we are just two hours from Chattanooga. We're up in the Cherokee National Forest. It's really not that long of a trip. And yet it's this hidden gem that very few people know about. We really hope that through visiting the Tennessee Aquarium, through engaging in our social media, we're able to raise more awareness of just how incredible the Southeast is and how much we all need to celebrate and protect the incredible animals we have right here in our backyard.